Um, the uh, honourable member who has spoken said that Brexit is worth, if Brexit is worth doing, it is worth doing well. I absolutely agree, Mr Speaker, and I absolutely agree that that is what people in the country want to see, Brexit being done well. Brexit being done well means leaving the European Union and leaving it properly, getting out of the single, out of, out of the single market, not being in the customs union. If we stay in either of those, we are not really leaving the EU. Now, the Lord's Amendment, I really just want to say a few words of why I want to very clearly uh, urge this House to send uh, Amendment 19 back to the House of Lords. I spent a, a, a very, I was going to say interesting, but not particularly interesting, uh, even a few hours reading right through the entire House of Lords debate. I'm sure most of the colleagues have here. And I regret very much that many of the, le of the leading Lords made it very clear that they wanted to stop Brexit. I believe that in this amendment, dressed up as it is in the words of parliamentary democracy and using, using parliamentary democracy as the key to why it's being put, is actually not right and not true. And if that means being disingenuous, if that is the word we have to use, I will say it is disingenuous. I'd like to say a probably stronger word, but I will, I will give way to my own. Reverend Lady for giving way. And also, did she note in the Honourable Gentleman for Twickenham speech, he talked about the rights of the Parliament. He didn't talk about the duties of the Parliament. And the duty of this Parliament is to implement the wishes of the British people. I, I agree with the Honourable Member, and I also think that the uh, Lord's Amendment. The people of this country will see through it. They will see that this is really, re no, I won't. This is really about actually trying to go back on Brexit. It, they can say it what it is, but it, it, what they want to, but it is actually about reversing it. Because the reality is that we, we want to take back control, but taking back control was about the people of this country taking back control. It, and it was about complying with our constitutional duties as a parliamentary democracy. And that means, and I just, I just find it absolutely amazing that anyone would think that the European Union Commission that we've seen trying to be as negative as possible, as difficult as possible, that, we would re that they would really think that once we start negotiating, knowing that if at the end of the day we are going to whatever deal it is, and if we don't manage to get a very good deal, we say no, that then we would be sending it back to renegotiate. Do you really think the European, does, Mr. Speaker, do you, do, does it, members really think that the European Commission will actually give us a better deal, knowing that if they don't give us a good deal, and if they be, and, uh, the more obstructive they are, the more likely it is that it will be sent back to them to renegotiate? The reality is the European Union Commission do not want us to leave. They do not want to give us a good deal. They want to punish us. And this motion, this amendment, no, I won't. This amendment, if it goes through, I believe actually is a recipe for the EU to actually try to get a no deal so that we will then have to go back cap in hand from this parliament and ask for uh, changes and what they really want is then those changes to be to stay in the single market to stay in the customs union to still have the court of justice looking look, over overlooking us to keep paying our money to keep paying more and more money and to reverse the decision so mr speaker i think whatever is said today this is really about whether we believe that we give the people the right to have their say. We said it in the letter that went to everyone, costing a huge amount of money. This is your decision. The government will implement what you decide. I will give way to the right hand member. The Honourable Lady for giving way. And would she also reflect on the fact that in addition to the referendum, at the last general election last year, both parties stood on the ticket of leaving the Customs Union, ending freedom of movement, repatriating our laws. It was quite unequivocal Respecting on both parties, Respecting and that result needs to be respected. Yes. I think the, the, the Honourable Member is very right that all the manifestos talked about honouring Brexit 
and by staying in, leaving the customs union and the single market. Labour, Labour put it in a slightly different way, a slightly more nuanced way, but that's what they were people, in, particularly in leave areas, they were going round and telling people in, in Labour that we would be but leaving the single market and, and the customs union. Um, so I just, I, I, I really just want to say finally then that this is uh, for me, a very, very important vote today. This is, as someone else has said, it's absolutely crucial that we do not allow the Lord's Amendment to be carried. And I believe that today we have to make a decision. We either support those 17.5 million people who decided and voted to leave, or, or we are actually going to say that we're going to be allowing people who really want to stop Brexit by using different procedural mechanisms, by using legal challenges, legal words to put this in doubt. And I'm confident that at the end of it, we will not decide to allow the Lords, the unelected Lords, full of ex-EU commissioners, full of people who are being funded by the European Union, to actually decide what we're going to do. Thank you.